Hi, so today we're going to talk about complex sentences. What are complex sentences? A complex sentence is a sentence that is actually a combination of two small sentences called clauses, a main clause and a dependent clause. Let's take a simple example. John says, Jim is hungry. So we have a main clause, John says, and a dependent clause, Jim is hungry. So <clears throat> this is simple because we have both clauses happening at the same time. Uh, so when, when, when both clauses happen at the same time, we're going to use the same tense for them. This is true also when we have uh, complex sentences in the past. John said Jim was hungry. So here again we have main clause and dependent clause and, and both happen at the same time. <clears throat> While John said whatever he, he said Jim was hungry. But things get a bit more confusing when we have different tenses, different times for the two clauses. So to illustrate this, I'm going to draw a timeline which, which will help us to understand it better. Right. So, let's take another uh, example. Laura said she had met Jim at the mall, right? So in the main clause, let's call it A, the dependent clause would be B. Here we have A happening at a certain point, but we know B happened before, right? But A is already past. It's in the past tense. So what do we do? We're going to have to use the past perfect tense uh, denoted by the verb had. So if this happened before, it's going to be in the past perfect. But what happens when we want our dependent clause to happen after the main clause, when the main clause is in the past? So, here our complex sentence, sentence will look like this. Laura said she would meet Jim at the mall. Right, so here we have the verb would, the past form of will, which makes the conditional tense, right? So let's do this on the timeline again. We have A in the past, but we want B to, to be in the future. So here we're going to have to use the conditional tense, which is actually the future form of the past, right? Or the past form of the future. Um, so this, this has been a few words about uh, complex sentences and how we use them in English. Uh, as I showed you, when, when we have both clauses happening at the same time, we're going to use the same tense, both in the present, in the future, and in the past. But if we have one clause happening after the other, it could be the dependent clause happening before the main clause, or either the dependent clause happening after the main clause, we're going to use some, some different tenses, namely the past perfect and the conditional. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and good luck.